Hey Scrappers, it's Vanessa here and today I have a layout for Baby Gut Scraps. So I did do a video where I showed all the page kits that I put together for Baby Gut Scraps. Um, so I went ahead and pulled one of those kits. Um, it was the one with the mixed media. All of them had mixed media backgrounds. I did pull my extra piece of cardstock, which I told in the video that I would be pulling that to frame my layout, and that's the only thing I'm using it for. So strictly just to frame my layout. And I thought what I would do instead of doing sort of a voiceover, I kind of walk through the process in um, pieces. So I did do a little bit of work off um, camera and the paper that I had pulled in the kit that I said I was going to fussy cut was this one. So I did take a chunk of that and I did go ahead and fussy cut several of the florals. Um, I think that I've cut enough but um, obviously I have more of that pattern paper left that if I need more um, I can certainly pull um, more of these in. So what I'm going to do, and I just realized that my overhead light is not on, so once I stop the video and restart it, um, I will uh, have more light after the second part of this video. <laughs> so I do apologize if it's a little bit dark. Um, so this is the photo that I'm working with. So I thought what I would do first is I'm going to figure out if I want to have my mixed media going vertical or or horizontal or vertical, I guess, would be the plan. Maybe like this, I'm thinking. My photo down here. So what I'm going to do is decide, like I said, which way I want my mixed media paper to go. And then what I'm going to do is take all of the scraps that I have, which are all of these pieces here. I think everything else, yeah. So I'm gonna take all of these pieces and I'm gonna go ahead and do, since these are all scraps, I'm gonna do just a whole bunch of layering with my photo, layer all of these pieces up. Um, some will go all the way around the photo, some will go um, part way around the photo. I'm thinking this, might be a banner piece underneath the photo um, and then this with the photo kind of peeking out something along that line with a whole bunch of layers um, I'm not 100% sure but when I come back I will have my background down and I'll have all of my layers cut and we will go ahead and then start um, embellishing and putting their title on and all of that sort of stuff. So we're going to kind of work this video in parts. Okay, we are back and I did a couple of things. I, like I said, I went ahead and figured out the orientation of my background. Then I matted my photo with lots of layers. I pulled out um, my notebook punch and punch the top of that stripe paper and then tore the bottom of two of the pattern papers that I did um, all of my layers for my photo so I'm really liking that I also added my title since I knew that gets a little fiddly nobody wants to watch that on camera so now I have where my photo is and my background is in place. I did pop my photo and all the layers up on um, some fun foam. So I have some dimension on the page. I did also add some distress oxide in speckled egg to add just a little bit of blue since I have blue in some of my pattern papers and some Heidi Swap Gold Color Shine. So just some additional splatters to the already done mixed media background. It doesn't show up a whole lot, um, but it is there. It, um, and so it just adds a little bit of extra texture to that background. So now that I have this in place, I have a few of leftover bits that I thought I would take some of these scraps. And I do like to do like a little cluster over here on the side so I think I am going to tear that uh, yellow piece and then I'm going to take this pink 
So I'm just taking some of the pattern papers that were in the layers with my photo and I'm just layering them up here. So I'm going to have a little layer here. I have the four by six card that was also in my kit. I took a punch and I just punched a little um, scalloped circle. So that will go over here as well. That pulls in my cork element from my title over here as well. So I like that. I like to have, um, try to pull what I have going on this side over to here as well. So also from that four by six card, I cut out, um, this was on one side and this enjoy the little things or the small things was on the um, on this side so I went ahead and cut that out so I'm going to have that down there and so I am liking how this is going so now that I have that in place I am going to come in here with this sticker sheet and I, what I decided is I'm going to take I want to use up this sticker sheet I've had it hanging around forever so I thought what might be fun would be to take and make these a banner here like so and I probably will add um, some twine to this and sort of lift everything up so I'm thinking something along this line um, I will finish that off camera, but I wanted to give you a look at what it was going to look like. So I'm going to have a little banner up there. It'll kind of pull this whole area together. I actually have this sticker here. I don't need what it says, but I do really like the fact that this has the colors that are in this stripe are kind of in that floral. So I don't have this stripe over here, but adding that floral gives me those colors so I'm gonna have that in there oh I do have another one of these so like I said I'm going to play with this a little bit so I, I will need to make it slightly um, come over a little bit more because I have one more um, little banner piece so I'm going to pull that over and then I have just this arrow so I am going to put it down here somewhere I believe and that is everything off that sticker sheet so that's awesome if i can get all of that used that'll be perfect now if we move on to this sticker sheet i think i am going to again do a little bit of layering here and i really just want this for the pop of color so again i'm going to layer these all up here so obviously I have to get this all glued down. That'll come in there like so. We're going to add some, let's see. We're gonna add some additional sorry, I'm concentrating. We're gonna add some additional um, embellishments over here. So I'm just trying to get an idea of where I want everything and what else do we have loving this life so I'm thinking those anything else oh I like this arrow again it brings in the blue that's over here it brings that in plus I have an arrow here and now an arrow here so I like the dueling directions that we have going let's see I almost want to have something up here but I have florals that I'm going to bring in so I feel like that might be it for here I used this for my title so I don't think I'm going to use anything else there so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come and or I'm going to go and get these elements sort of in place and then we're going to come back 
in with the florals and the finishing touches. So I'm going to get this down so that I can kind of know where I'm going to place my florals. Okay, I've got everything down. Now, last finishing touches. I am going to come in with my florals. That kind of will tie everything together. And I found these enamels. They weren't in my kit, but I realized that I didn't have any little finishing touches in this kit. So I went ahead and grabbed those from my stash. And now we are going to play with these florals and see where we want to stick these florals. They are going to finish off this page. So I'm just wanting to grab some of these and have them coming around this at the bottom. And then I like the idea of something like these up here. Something like that. Then we have maybe this down here. And up here we need to have some additional pieces here. And a little blue flower up here. So I'm gonna have that up there like that. A little bit more blue coming down here. This definitely needs some blue in here. This little piece is an off cut, so we'll stick that up there and maybe fill that in there. So I will glue those down off camera, but I like the placement. So I have florals up here, florals down here around my photo, keeping everything sort of tight pulled together so that this makes one embellishment cluster, another one down here and a third one over here. Next up, we will come in with our enamel dots. I like the idea of these little hearts are really cute. And tiny one over here, maybe. Maybe somewhere in there. And then Let's see, kind of like something like that down there, and then come in with just a few enamel dots. And just want to dot a few of these around just to give a little bit of sparkle to the page. to glue on I think and then let's see one over here maybe and one more maybe down here so we are going to call that done I'm gonna glue those down you'll see some still photos in just a sec and we will call this layout good. Um, I will have in the description box below everyone who is playing along, so be sure to check that out. 
and see what everybody has put together with their scraps. And with that, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.